Do you believe that voodoo and magic spells can be the cause of someone's death? This is the mysterious case of Caitlin Reston. In Haiti, a divine spirit is called a loa. Legba is a loa who is the link between the visible mortal world and the invisible immortal realm. Caitlin Reston was a 19-year-old resident of Virginia Beach. Caitlin got a lot of attention back in 2020 through social media. Her story became very popular and it was due to the fact that she had a very unexpected death due to possibly summoning a deity of African spirituality. Caitlin was a bisexual woman and she had a relationship with a black woman. They broke up. And as you know, some women, we do get revengeful when we are dumped or if we break up with someone and we feel like we've been wronged. Being a member of several different spirituality groups on Facebook, she started to ask questions allegedly about voodoo and African spirituality. Supposedly, she wanted to work with a specific deity, Papa Legba, in order to get revenge on her ex-girlfriend. Allegedly, she wanted to unalive her ex-girlfriend using voodoo. In Haiti, a divine spirit is called a loa. Legba is a loa who is the link between the visible mortal world and the invisible immortal realms. He is the means and avenue between them, the vertical axis of the universe. As guardian of the sacred gateway, it is he who grants contact with the other Loa. Legba must be the first Loa to be ritually saluted if this is to be achieved. For this reason, the crossroads is the most important of all ritual figures. Papa Legba is a deity. Papa Legba is a member of the Loa. Papa Legba is, is not someone from my knowledge and belief that can actually or would actually unalive someone. Papa Legba is a spirit that lives at the crossroads and he will be there to cross you over once you pass away from this earthly realm to the spirit realm. And when it comes to working or doing magic or voodoo with Papa Legba, he is someone that you would use when you're doing crossroad work. And that is if you are having obstacles in life and you need to push obstacles out of your way to get what you want. Those obstacles could be people, places, or things. So Caitlin started asking questions and making posts about voodoo and African spirituality. Keep in mind, she was a self-proclaimed Wiccan. And from my knowledge about the Wiccan belief, you're not supposed to hurt anyone. And if you do, it can come back on you times three or times 10 in this case. Caitlin started making a series of posts and one post in particular, she posted pictures of voodoo dolls that she was supposedly working with to summon Papa Legba. And supposedly, allegedly, the hair used on these voodoo dolls belonged to that of her ex-girlfriend. And a few days later, she made a post that she had actually seen Papa Legba. And a couple of days after that, Caitlin was found dead in her mother's home in the bathtub, allegedly face down in the water. To give you just a little bit more information, from the research that I found, she was getting her spiritual supplies from this botanica in Virginia. And the shop owner warned her against what she was about to do, but she didn't listen, of course. Papa Legba has gotten a bad rep, especially in entertainment, film, and television. Specifically, 
the TV show American Horror Story. That season with Angela Bassett, that was not Papa Legba, even though they said that it was. Visually, they were depicting Baron Samdi. Now, Baron, he is the deity of death. So that's why a lot of people think that that is the deity that she summoned, which ultimately led to her death. We may never know what she died from, and even if they released an official autopsy report, it may still not explain why she mysteriously died. Even in her obituary, it said that she unexpectedly died. So, what do you think? Do you think that voodoo and magic spells actually took the life of Caitlyn? Let me know. Leave me a comment and I'll see you on the next video.